How's it going guys? Today we're going to be testing having a good rating on Instacart to a bad rating on Instacart and trying to figure out if this matters or not. I made a video like this pretty recently actually, but I only did one test and I don't think it was as accurate as I was hoping. Basically me and a friend with two different ratings, I had a 4.93 rating, they had a five star, we were both on the same car, same exact like cell provider, and we tested to see who got the Costco drop first with different ratings. Now they got the drop way before me and I was like, all right, that's to be expected since they have higher metrics, a higher rating and all that. So I made the video, I showed exactly what happened there and uh, yeah, I thought that was that. And then the next day I did the same thing. I was just curious. We were together and uh, we did it again. Somehow I got the drop way before the five star and we're talking like 10 seconds. And that is huge. If you guys had 10 seconds to go review all the orders before someone else, that's a huge advantage. So once I saw that, I knew that I had to come back and make another video to kind of correct myself because these ratings might not be as important as I proclaimed in that video. Still gonna keep it up because the video is not a lie, it's actually what happened. I just didn't do the proper testing to make sure that it was accurate. If you guys are trying to do like an experiment like this, ideally you guys need to do three, five, ten of these scenarios before you guys come to a conclusion. So after a lot more testing, it appears that this is more random than we thought and harder to understand which is probably not what you guys wanted to hear whatsoever. But hear me out, I think right now having a lower rating is actually better than having a five star rating. As backwards as that sounds, I just had one of my best weeks ever on Instacart with my 4.93 stars. I've been sitting at five stars for quite some time and it's just kind of been pretty stable, kind of blah. And then I randomly dropped a 4.93 stars due to some interesting customers and we we had the best week ever. Maybe it was a blessing in disguise. Let's uh, stop ranting here and let's get into the actual numbers. Let's look at my revenue and uh, we're gonna be showing you my past week with the low rating, and then we're gonna show you a week with five stars. All right, so this is a week from a while ago when I know that I had five stars, and we're gonna compare this to the week that we recently just had. Basically, here we worked 31 hours, 37 minutes. We made $873. On Monday, we made $189, and I think we only worked like, yeah, six hours. It wasn't too bad. We got a huge batch in the morning, like a huge batch, a lot of miles, and yeah. But if you guys look at the week, it's pretty solid. We had some great days and then some lower paying days where I did some other things like DoorDash and Favor on the side to make up for the income. So yeah. 873 with a five star rating. Now let's uh, go back to my best week ever on just Instacart alone. We worked only 28 hours and 33 minutes, which is actually less um, actual working time according to Instacart. I may have been sitting for close to the same, but that's what it is. And we had an even crazier week. We had two $250 days back to back basically. We made $1,022, basically $1,023. It was a pretty sweet week. And all this to be said, the only thing that changed was my rating dropped. And we made considerably more money. Like, I don't get it. So the bottom line is, it is a lot more random than we think. And there's a conspiracy theory that I've talked about already on this channel where there's three different categories. These categories are basically randomly selected by Instacart to throw you in for a day. So you might be getting all the batches in one day. You might be getting next to nothing and you might just be average. And I really think that's true. There's something random going on and something in the algorithm that we don't understand. So all that to say, if you guys get a bad rating from a customer, don't be too worried because I still was able to make solid money even with these one star and two star reviews that I got for bogus reasons. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it made sense. Stay tuned for the next video where we go over the state of Instacart in 2022. More shoppers, less batches. So I'm gonna be recording that tomorrow, uploading it in a few days. We're also working on a Discord server for you guys. So if you guys are interested in having a way to talk to me and just share batches that you guys get, we're gonna be doing that. So it's all in the works. If you guys are interested in staying tuned with this channel, make sure you guys consider subscribing. Anyways, keep getting those good batches and have a good one.